Look, here's the thing with Peterson. We don't know for sure that he's completely washed up, right? Yes, obviously, he hasn't looked great, but he had 27 carries in four games in New Orleans. Like, not exactly a huge sample size. But what we do have is a large sample size of the Cardinals' running game so far, and it's not pretty. Overall, they're averaging just 2.6 yards per rush as a team. That's worse than the NFL. They're averaging just 1.4 yards per rush before first contact. That's second worst in the NFL. And between the tackles, they're averaging just 1.3 yards per rush. Again, worst in the NFL. And in fact, the one game David Johnson played with the Cardinals this year, he only got 0.8 yards before first contact. Like, like even if they had, uh, like, Tecmo Bo Jackson, Arizona's awful offensive line keeps the excitement in check. Now, Adrian Peterson's value goes up, obviously, because he wasn't even playing in New Orleans. At least in Arizona, he's going to get some run. But the best you're hoping for is like a, like a long pass to J.J. Nelson. He's down on the two, and then Peterson falls into the end zone. He's probably going to get 12 to 15 touches a game. So in the right matchup, I could see him being a flex consideration. And hey, he's now a starting running back in the NFL, certainly worth a flyer. But they're going to be a pass-first team with a bad offensive line, right? That's not changing. So if I'm choosing an Arizona running back, I still prefer Andre Ellington. As for the Saints after this, Alvin Kamara was already running back 18 on the season in points per game. And Mark Ingram, running back 29. Now each of them should see three to four more touches a game with Peterson out of there. Both of them locked in as a top 20 running back the rest of the year. And get this, Kamara still available in 25% of the leagues. Incidentally, four of the Saints' final five games are indoors. Much more treat than trick in New Orleans.